Hello and welcome to the Think Bamboo podcast. I'm your host, JJ, and today we're here with Melvin Kolk, directly from yes. the Netherlands. <laughs> Hello, Melvin. Hi, thanks for having Hi. me. Thanks for being here. You're from Bamboo yeah. Builds, and uh, yes. we're going to talk about three main topics. Just quick introduction here for the ones who are uh, very uh, busy. Uh, we're going to talk quickly about your bamboo journey with Bamboo Build, how you got there. We're going to talk about uh, one of your uh, key uh, topics, which is the Dutch bamboo course <laughs> and yep. uh, your uh, experience at the last week's bamboo expo in Germany, the European bamboo expo and your future yep. plans there. So, um, yeah, Melvin, um, how how did you get to to bamboo? What's your story? Yeah, it's a it's a pretty long one, I think, but it's uh, it's interesting. So um, I uh, did a um, I have a bachelor degree in architecture. Uh, mm -hmm. I studied here in the Netherlands, and during this study, I uh, did an internship at a big firm in in uh, in architecture in in Amsterdam. And uh, during this internship, I found out that I'm I do not really like the designing and modeling the coronary stuff, you know, the, mm -hmm. the coronary buildings, uh, stone. I didn't really get much joy out of that. And um, so after graduating, um, I decided if I want to do something with architecture, um, it needs to be meaningful for the world. So um, I, I, I searched on Google, like, um, I don't know what I typed exactly, but um, I typed something like sustainable materials in the building industry, you know, in the building sector. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I found uh, the, the building Sharma Springs in, in Bali. I think it was in 2021 I, I found that the, the, the pictures of that building. And I was so amazed. I didn't know what I was seeing. So <laughs> um, like a six-story high, high bamboo building. It was amazing. So... Um, and then I decided I want to find more, find out more about this material. And then I found the, the Bamboo U online immersion. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it was during COVID. And um, yeah, it was a perfect moment for me after graduating to learn more about Bamboo. So I I, um, I signed up and 11 weeks long, I learned everything about Bamboo, uh, got a good introduction to the world of Bamboo. And um, I decided to save money and uh, working at my dad's company as a gardener uh, and to go to Bali uh, wow. to see the, the, the bamboo villas in real life and also see the bamboo growing there because yeah it, it got so much I don't know where it came from but it got my attention so so much and um, just uh, everything around bamboo so um, so just quick um, uh, interruptions yeah. here so you have a background as uh, from architecture as architect yeah. like classic but you also, I hear you have experience as, as gardeners. So you have this connection with nature and plants. Of course, like, yeah. pr probably classic gardening is like a little bit far away from, from natural permaculture, maybe. But still, yeah, you true. have a very probably un good understanding of, of, of yeah. how bamboo grows and what the impact of the plants are. And, and uh, yeah. like, yeah, exactly. this, this it is lines interesting. Up with, with plants. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Altogether. I like that. Yeah, and also, and also with gardening, you know, you build stuff, you build small houses or sheds in in gardens with wood, you know. So you already yeah. learn some some building techniques, and um, yeah, and later on, I, I also use that to build some bamboo structures. Mm -hmm. But uh, later, more on that, I think. And um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I went to Bali. I did some more workshops at Bamboo U as well, a three-day course, and learned some bamboo techniques. And uh, also went to Belega. That's the, the like the main village in Bali, nice. um, where the the, the techniques, um, the bamboo techniques, are really advanced and uh, also traditional. And um, I went there, uh, and and the, the the people there taught me uh, some uh, techniques. Awesome. Um, yeah, I and, went there for a few days. Were you able to interact in English with them, or or, or had you? Oh yeah, that's really interesting. <laughs> so they didn't speak English, and I didn't speak uh, Bahasa Indonesia. Um, <laughs> so it was really uh, with with uh, like with your hands, talking with your hands, and yeah. um, that worked surprisingly well. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> say, awesome. And, 
Yeah, and it was also with a guy that was 75 years old back then. So, wow. And he was so fit and he always liked to work with bamboo and taught other people in the village uh, building with bamboo. And now local. Um, he taught me. Yeah, local. Our local. local. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Yeah, but, so that was really interesting. That's yeah. cool. So you have like the double background. You have like the, the bamboo background, let's say, of bamboo you, which are also Europeans yeah. or I don't know what their background. But locals too, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. cool. So remember cool. you, uh, people are uh, the Canadian people and uh, Canadian. also, okay. yeah, and uh, also many Balinese uh, local people uh, working there to teach right. other people. Of course. And um, <laughs> yeah, so um, also back then in 2021, I met my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's important for the story as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's always important. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. So, and I, I told her about bamboo. She was there. Um, she's also Dutch, mm -hmm. and she was there working online remotely mm. um, for a Dutch digital company. nomad. She, yeah, digital nomad, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, she's building websites, and um, she's doing everything around the online presence of. of the, oh. So she's doing everything around uh, the, the online presence of, uh, of businesses. And uh, yeah, we met uh, somewhere in Changu uh, in a bar and I told her everything around bamboo. I was there for bamboo reasons to learn more. And she got so interested as well. Like, why didn't I hear anything about this before uh, mm -hmm. you telling me this? <laughs> and um, yeah, she's also um, quite into the being sustainable and everything and she didn't even hear anything about what's possible with with bamboo and the properties it has and so yeah she was amazed and um yeah we got a relationship awesome <laughs> and awesome. then a few months later uh, we went back to the netherlands and um yeah my passion was created uh for bamboo you know i i i kept one um i how do you say that I, I wanted to keep working on bamboo with bamboo um, on a, yeah, in a way and probably also you were at, at the beginning you said you were looking for something meaningful and I think you there yeah. like got like the insight that hey bamboo is meaningful and exactly. and, and, and you got like this boom wow moment right yeah. which is like yeah. one in life <laughs> yeah exactly yeah it, it makes it makes really sense you know and um <laughs> Yeah, I got so inspired by Ben with the possibilities with it and uh, all the houses that were built there in, in Bali really advanced. And I thought, wow, how is this possible? And, um, and you know, why don't we know about ideas. it, right? Yeah, why exactly. is nobody yeah, yeah. talking about them? Yeah. Everybody's talking about like, uh, I don't know, carbon reduction or, or, or stuff like yeah. that. But I mean, bamboo yeah. is a option which we can apply today already. Mm -hmm. We don't have to. And also, if, if you want to plant bamboo, you can do it in five, six, seven years. You're up and running yeah. like endless, 120 years. <laughs> so exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah and, if you, and if you harvest it, there's no, there's no um, uh, deforestation happening. So yeah, you're helping it's, the bamboo. It's good for actually. the plant. Yeah. Helping yeah the bamboo it's healthy for you're... the plant. It's healthy yeah. for the climate. Otherwise, yeah. the CO2 that got stored is going back in the, in the air. And, so yeah, it, it only has like these, um, wait, how do you say this in English? Um, advantages or? Yeah, advantages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Not yeah. really yeah. that much negative uh, yeah. uh, properties. Yeah, well, maybe has. one, the challenge with bamboo from my point of view, I mean, you, you are welcome to tell me uh, what you think, but I think is the, the humidity, which bamboo absorbs like faster compared to mm -hmm. wood. So, um, yeah. I think this is like one of the really challenges of bamboo. You have to treat it well. You have ideally uh, harvested in the uh, optimal moon and all that or good treatment. And then obviously know how to build well, because if you build bad exactly. yeah. and it's yeah. exposed to rain, a lot of sun or, or stuff like that, it won't last uh, 200 or 300 no. years. It could last. No, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. You need to really... Um... Uh, keep your attention in, on the bamboo. Really treat it well, even even if it's already in the in the structure or yeah, as a, uh, implemented as a piece of furniture, for example. Yeah. Or interior. Yeah. So yeah. you have to really yeah. treat it well. Yeah. And um, yeah. So 
um, eventually when I got back in the Netherlands, as I told you, um, uh, I wanted to keep working with bamboo. Uh, I really liked building with it, um, use the joinery techniques I learned from the local people, and I decided to uh, make some furniture. So, um, and I didn't want to make like the, those old fashioned <laughs> bamboo furnitures that, that are not so <laughs> exciting. Um, but I wanted to uh, give a modern um, look to it. So mm -hmm. I came up with an idea that uh, I can connect that the, the, the CLT of bamboo, like the bamboo planks, mm -hmm. and uh, combine it with the bamboo uh, combs, mm -hmm. uh, and then combine it with the combs uh, with the Java black bamboo, the Picanto Cloa Atro Viola K. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the um, super, like the, the one that everybody the wants, one. right? The dark bamboo, exactly. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that gave, I decided to combine it and uh, it really gave a, like a modern, robust look and it really so amazing and I thought, whoa, why is no one else doing this here in, in the Netherlands or in Europe? And I, I looked online, like if other people are doing this um, and I couldn't find other companies doing this and I thought, how is this possible? <laughs> and what was your prototype also... furniture? What was it, like a chair? Oh, or... it, it was the, an open cupboard. Open cupboard, okay. Yeah, awesome. yeah, just to, to put some decoration in it or books or... Uh, Organization, yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, for in your living room, for example, or in the kitchen. And... Oh, and I also almost forgot. I, I also uh, designed my own bamboo uh, pergola during the online uh, bamboo U immersion course. Yeah. And uh, back in the Netherlands, I decided to build it finally in real life in my own backyard. <laughs> Cool. So uh, that that was also like an experiment for the the Dutch climate on mm -hmm. how how the, the 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 bamboo structure reacts to the the climate here, mm -hmm. and it's still standing. And it's I think it's two and a half years ago I built it, so uh, it's wow. still standing. It the the colors are a bit degraded, you know. It's uh, it's a little bit gray. Of it, course, it doesn't have a roof. It's a, a pergola. Like the function is for plants to grow on it. Mm -hmm. So the roof is basically the, the, the plants that are growing on it. And uh, yeah, it makes sense that the, 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 the calms are degraded because of the, the rain and the, the sun, but it's still standing and it's really strong. So um, even without the roof, it can handle the, the Dutch climate. So there's a lot of uh, possibility in the Netherlands. for Absolutely. Bamboo. And you have snow yeah. too in winter, right? Or, or not so much? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, not no, not so much anymore because of the climate change, of course. Um, yeah. But yeah, it still it it still can handle it very well. I used the the, the species Guadua uh, for the main structure and uh, for some a, additional uh, structure, I used the the Java black bamboo. Mm. So it's a, it's a mix Makes... between the Indonesian bamboo and Colombian. Yeah. yeah, cool. And it works really well still. So. So that was like the prototype, the, those two. One you yeah. build, of course, in, in Bali, and then you like build it for real yeah. in... Yeah, so I made also like a, a maquette, oh, a model. Awesome. So this is yeah. what it looks like. <laughs> there it is. So, okay, yeah. you have the not only the, the structure, but also the table, like sitting table. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this was already in our garden, but not made out of bamboo. But I like okay. making out of bamboo sticks, so it's normal wood. Uh, okay, but yeah, this is standing in the, in my garden right now. Okay. And the roof is slightly yeah. bent, right? Yeah, slightly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And you have like yeah. the plants growing on the sides already and starting yeah, to take right over. Yeah, right now. In the spring, yeah, it's really awesome. uh, taking over right now, and every year it gets more and more, and uh, it's blooming as well, like the purple flowers, uh, uh, yeah, on wow. top of it, it's, and hanging, hanging down from the roof, it's amazing, yeah. Awesome, and that gave you probably the idea of, of like working on a, a bamboo course locally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I found out together with my girlfriend that no one is doing this, and um, I really want to share my knowledge that I learned in, in Bali and from the, the course uh, from, from Bamboo U um, and then in Dutch. So like a, mm -hmm. uh, a Dutch introduction to, to Bamboo for 
every Dutch speaking uh, yeah, person that's interested in, in building materials, building sustainable. And yeah, that's how the, the, the story is from Bamboo Builds. And uh, yeah, the, the company's name, Bamboo Builds, uh, the name is uh, basically for the, the furniture. So I make, still make furniture pieces. Um, but I'm doing that from uh, the name Bamboo Builds. And the course that um, I created with my girlfriend is um, the, the Bamboo Builders Academy. So that's another name. It's like a, a sister business. I don't know if you can say it. Yeah, yeah, I think it, 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 it's yeah. like, a, yeah. But I think so. You you build currently. You're working on on building bamboo furniture in Netherlands yeah. and uh, giving this uh, bamboo uh, academy in in yeah. uh, Dutch for the Dutch yeah. people in Netherlands yeah, and exactly everywhere in the world yeah. who speak Dutch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. You have to also we have also some islands in some Dutch islands in the in the Caribbean. So yeah. maybe people have bamboo there growing. So <laughs> yeah, possibly, possibly. Yeah. P probably the Bambusa vulgaris, is the golden bamboo because that's the most introduced bamboo worldwide. Uh even yeah. though it's it's not so great to build, but still you can do stuff. You can uh, you can build a pergola too and and uh mm -hmm. and uh, if it's well treated, uh, it can last. I mean, it doesn't have to exactly, be a skyscraper. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just start with bamboo whatever you're making and uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, wow. So that's that's quite an uh, interesting uh, background there. Um, I like how how things have been merging together and yeah. and uh, bringing you to uh, what you're doing these now. And you're doing this full time now, or, or are you like is this a, a side hustle? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's like a it's a passion pro project, I'd say. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, so I'm the the guy that knows. Pretty much a lot about bamboo. Not already, not everything. Every every day I learn something new, and I'm doing this together with my uh, girlfriend Britt, and she's uh, doing like the, the technical stuff. So she made the website, and she uh, also made the the looks of the the online course, the Bamboo Builders Academy. So um, yeah, so the the members of the, the the academy can have a good experience following the whole course, and. Yeah, it's social media we're doing together, everything, and uh, next two days because we can't we can't uh, live from this fully yet. So uh, next two days, I'm still working at my dad's company as a gardener. So yeah, I'm still I'm always busy with plants, basically. <laughs> it's awesome. It's I, I love it that you've been able also to build this with your partner, your girlfriend. I yeah. mean, that's pretty cool. You can spend more time together. You can build a future. That's pretty pretty yeah. awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, of course, life is expensive in Netherlands. It's not uh, like in other places. So uh, I no. think uh, this is a long-term approach probably. Um, mm -hmm. And um, even though bamboo is the fastest growing plant on the planet Earth, uh, still it, it needs time here for people to really get it and understand it. That's also why we're talking here on the Think Bamboo podcast and introducing other interested people mm -hmm. into what you've done, Melvin. Um, yeah. here and how you gotten there, what your, your inspiration was. And, um, you, you've been, um, working on, on bamboo builds. How long now? Uh, so we started in January last year. Mm -hmm. Um, we started to come up with an idea and decided that we can really work well together. She, with her background in building websites and my knowledge about bamboo. And so we we filmed everything uh, because we have like video lessons. Mm -hmm. um, we filmed everything in Bali and mm -hmm. um, every lesson um, about the technique, the, 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 the techniques, how to build with bamboo. Um, and we also went there to um, to bamboo villas, the tours, just to inspire um, the Dutch people. Like yeah. this is already being happening here. And um, it's also possible in the Netherlands, I believe, in a way. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. It's a good idea to show also inspiration because one thing is to see the plant, see the, the bamboo poles like in raw. Yeah. And the other thing mm -hmm. is to see like a amazing organic uh, yeah. nature uh, embedded villa uh, there, right? Yeah. Where you see, wow, uh, this is just so much more like... like uh, 
welcoming than uh, this uh, uh, glass and and uh, cement uh, builds mm -hmm. we have everywhere now and uh, which are so inter placeable also when you go to a like a metropolis today it could be anywhere every metropolis mm -hmm. is the same and and yeah. bamboo just brings like this other dimension where it's it's more natural it's it's more human yeah, and it, it's it's, nat <laughs> it's it, yeah it's round it's organic it breathes so it's it's also mm -hmm. much healthier to live there to sleep there and and um that's great inspiration is is key um yeah that's really uh I, I like that. So you have videos. Videos is also like super uh, important nowadays because most people want to consume information via video. So uh, yeah. that's uh, the right thing to do, of <laughs> course. That's also yeah. why we're doing a video podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah. And and um, so basically, um, how how has it uh, how has this been growing now? Um, did you already? like uh, start the academy uh, like from scratch probably the the first months are like the the hardest one right to to gain attention to, yeah. to find people who are um who who are who maybe want to learn about it or maybe don't know yeah, about like like you did right really you just are into doing something meaningful but they don't know yeah. what and they have to first to find to know oh Maybe I should look at at bamboo and all this mm -hmm. universe because it's not just building; it's it's much more. No. <laughs> so much more, if, yeah. So um, yeah, we we from from last year January until uh, November last year, we we um, uh, designed the whole course, uh, filmed everything, and uh, last November we we went live with it. So um, yeah, it's it's we just started really. <laughs> awesome and. Um, Awesome. Yeah, so let's, and, let's um, share your website. It's bamboobuilt.nl for Netherlands. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. for Netherlands. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, so now we're really busy with uh, promoting it and, um, and letting other people know about bamboo, what the possibilities are. And it, yeah, it's it's really difficult. We we found out to yeah to uh, to persuade to people take to take off. To, it's always to, it's yeah, like the rocket, yeah. you know, the rocket, yeah, big rocket, to... heavy rocket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you know about it, you you really want to know more. I, mm -hmm. I discover it. Mm -hmm. Also, with doing events like the Bamboo uh, European Bamboo Expo and other events we took part in. Um, once you you give one um, uh, interesting. Uh, property about bamboo you tell them about it like it grows so fast and they're like what, what? Yeah, i <laughs> didn't know, know how keep come? learning more yeah exactly, exactly. because and uh, because bamboo is so min misunderstood people still um think it's only food for pandas or you know and um, absolutely or it's it's not strong enough and we we yeah. try to uh, get that out of the way and, and change the whole perception of the of how yeah. people look at bamboo, especially in the Netherlands. And because a funny example, in the, at the other event we went to, uh, we we got uh, frequently frequently got asked about the the black bamboo, you know, <laughs> and they yeah. they asked us, uh, "Whoa, did you paint this all yourself?" <laughs> 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 and I thought, oh, it's the natural color. <laughs> it's the natural color. Yeah. And they were like, what? This is the natural color. I didn't know about this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so and there's like zero knowledge the on bamboo. Things. There is like zero yeah. knowledge on bamboo out there. And uh, yeah. you could, I mean, it's, sometimes I think it's, it's so much information, you know, that it's overwhelming at the start. Yeah. Because we could talk like two hours just about bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. And we would miss like probably a lot of stuff, and, yep. <laughs> and it's, it's it's too much. So we have to find like okay, what's the initial uh, uh, thing that will really get people excited? And it mm -hmm. could be emotional. It could be it could be uh, something that inspires them. I think uh, the what you said. I really like that your your motivation to do something meaningful. And and bamboo being having so many layers of different impact, you know, the plant yeah. being really good for the literally environment around the plant, soil, mm -hmm. water, oxygen, and then having a endless material where you can harvest and 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 use it 
and it's still growing and it's even growing better because you're harvesting, you're helping the plant to have more energy and yeah. get new shoots. I mean, this is mind blowing. <laughs> it's, it's, cra it's so crazy. And it, it's still it's so weird that no one knows about it. it, it exactly. Yeah, especially yeah. in Europe, it's so crazy yeah. to think about. The positive thing, Mel Melvin, is I think comparing Europe to other uh, um, continents where bamboo is endemic because in Europe it's not endemic, mm -hmm. of course. So there is this romanticism uh, on, on, on stuff or exotic stuff. And bamboo is exotic mm -hmm. for Europeans, right? So that's a yeah. plus maybe because um, if you go like in a place where bamboo grows uh, naturally, it's like, oh, it's mm -hmm. just bamboo. It grows there. Yeah, uh, we use yeah, it for yeah. the the scaffolding of the buildings, you know. But we do real buildings mm -hmm. with glass and you know skyscrapers. <laughs> yeah, 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 so, yeah. Really proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because from the the mindset, we always normally mm -hmm. tend to believe that things which are from far away are better than things we have in our backyard. True. True. Which doesn't have and to also, be. Yeah, and also the the that bamboo needs to come from afar. And uh, it it has to come through container ships, and that's exactly. uh, polluting, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, that yeah. can also scare people. But that's going to change all now because, as we know, yeah. we have people from the Netherlands and from Europe everywhere planting bamboo, and the new generations yeah. in ten, twenty years, they'll have plenty of bamboo yeah. in Europe, mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to be a total different. Uh, uh, reality than today 2024 where we're still kind of like fighting um to 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 just break the minds of the people like thinking oh bamboo is bad you can't plant bamboo yeah. you need like uh, you need uh, i don't know we need 100 years of uh, of tests uh, <laughs> what could happen but they're planting gmo you know no problem gmo is good but bamboo oh i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Because there's no knowledge. There's no yeah. no knowledge yeah. yet about it. And so. there is no industry. You know, we have no um, we have no politicians saying, "Oh, uh, give me your no. voice, and uh, I'll I'll help the bamboo industry. Uh, we'll do jobs. We'll create a green mm -hmm. economy." There is nothing like that. So basically, like you and like me and like everybody within the bamboo universe, we're all fighting ourselves, trying to yeah. to to show about this abundant plant and help people understand it better, but we're not mm -hmm. well organized. We don't have one voice. No. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah exactly. That's, 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 that's it. Yeah. And, so, and, yeah and but that's, we're getting there. And it's exactly. And, and, um, I really needed the, the urge to, to, to change the, the whole perception of bamboo here, because, you know, I talked to so many people and they're all thinking so differently about bamboo first after I tell them everything about bamboo. <laughs> and um, yeah, the, so the, I hope the, the course is, is um, uh, that I uh, created with, uh, with Brit, it's uh, that it helps like changing the perception. So of course, and, and I, and I'm sure it is because um, first the, we, in, in the first module of the, the course, uh, we teach everything about the theory, so how how the bamboo is uh, built up. So it so it's different than wood. You can test the, the vertical fibers, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so you have to um, treat it really differently when working with it. And um, the joiner systems are really different, and it's it's hollow in, on the inside. And uh, we teach them everything uh, everything about bamboo, how it grows. Um, yeah, so it's it's really an introduction to the to the world of bamboo, and um, we also have like a, a separate uh, course for, for that, just to uh, get people more easily into the bamboo world. So, so you have two um, courses. Yeah, yeah. We first so, had one main course, but we separated the part from it. So the mm -hmm. theory part, we we separated from the whole course just to get um, people more. Uh, yeah, excited to to learn more, so make mm -hmm. it more easier to to follow. Makes sense. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's like easier to to maybe it's I don't know uh, if you want to share the pricing and the duration so people can have like a better understanding of of how the course is. Uh, what does it mean? What is it in time and in and in investment money wise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, the, the the theory course is. Um, oh wait, let me have a look. Um, 
because it's quite new. We just <laughs> <laughs> you can cut this part. It's brand <laughs> new. So uh, <laughs> this is the first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, the the, the theory course is um, uh, fifty seven euros. Mm -hmm. uh, include uh, with the with tax included. Text, and video, the, the main, and... yeah, everything. And uh, the main course is two hundred sixty seven. Okay. Yeah. And the introduction course, how long is it? Um, or how many is it split in various uh, sessions? Or um... yeah, it's it's the, the the first module of the whole course. So mm -hmm. and that's um, around nine lessons. Okay. Uh, so uh, we go in depth in uh, every interesting property of bamboo. So how strong it is, how fast it grows, how it grows. Uh, the the weight, like the why is it really why is it light? Um, also the the durability, so everything around that we um, uh, we tackle and uh, also uh, we have uh, we have quizzes on the end just to to test people's knowledge oh. uh, after we taught them everything. Um, so every lesson has a, a video where I show the bamboo. Uh, growing in the in the forest for example uh, have a piece of it with a branch on it so i can really show people everything um bamboo how it looks like and uh, how it's built up um what else we have um uh, drawings that i drew myself to to for example the the rhizomes the rhizome system you don't really uh, see it it's invisible, yes, because it's below the ground, yeah. but it's not so far away. But still, it's kind of hard yeah. also to dig out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. The, the whole root system is also very interesting of bamboo. So I, I drew that to, um, to, yeah, really show people how it looks like and um, why, what its functions are, and um, yeah, and I, I also added some, uh, a lot of photos and um, yeah, schemes that you can use uh property wise and you can compare it with other uh, building materials that's cool so, so it's really basically a, a whole package of um yeah um uh, yeah how what, what bamboo exactly is for a for material and that's just the the first module or that's all of the modules of the bamboo that's the that's course. only the first module wow so, <laughs> so this is pretty yeah. wow so this is a good yeah. intro <laughs> yeah for yeah. 57 and what is it euro yeah yeah that's, okay. that's basically it yeah that's pretty so, fair um, yeah we want to reach as many people as possible so mm -hmm. and um online it's very reachable so it's very easy for people to uh, to follow do you have support of any organizations like saying hey guys you're doing amazing thing we want to support you like collaborations with others or is it something you're into no. for the future yeah, of course, we're open to everything, but uh, mainly we're doing it uh, with the two of us just together. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. wow. So, so anybody out there who thinks, hey, uh, I also want to like support the, the Dutch people uh, in uh, learning about bamboo. Here is uh, Melvin with Bamboo Builds and his partner. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Uh, you can talk to them. Maybe you can do a partnership or a collaboration, sponsoring, whatever, right? Anything yeah. is uh, help. <laughs> Everything is welcome. Yeah, we're very open in uh, collaborating with other people. Yeah, awesome. That's great. I also think um, this is key um, uh, personally that uh, we need to collaborate more with with people within the bamboo world who um, who have similar uh, way of of working and thinking. Uh, not everybody yeah. has the same uh, uh, mindset, of course. Some people are introverts and other are extroverts, for example. Mm -hmm. And not everybody's compatible, compatible. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure that within the existing uh, universe of, of bamboo, we, we can find, we're able to find um, always uh, uh, people to who, which we can work together and then grow faster, grow healthier, yeah. right? Because yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, uh, and also like the, the European Bamboo Expo really helped um, uh, the, net networking with networking. other... Uh, businesses, bamboo businesses, people, yeah, people that are interested in bamboo are uh, enthusiastic about bamboo, and it really helped to bring everyone together, and it really felt like a family, you know. And yeah, uh, yeah. you really want yeah. to help them out, help each other out, and work together, maybe collaborate, um, just to get so it more out there. this was your first, it's... your first time at the European Bamboo Expo in Germany, or your second time? Yeah, first time. Yeah, first time. Wow. 
Yeah. So yeah. your mind, you had like, like probably you didn't sleep a lot. <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> Not really, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. And were you able like to, to, I mean, you were with, there with your girlfriend, so you were both uh, on site, like talking nonstop with yeah. people. and All day being, talking. And, all day yeah, talking. Yeah, so, so much energy, uh, so many interesting people that are doing other things uh different stuff with with bamboo really interesting like exactly. people doing art with it um name it it's, it's, yeah, everything everything it's so interesting yeah. everything and we are I, at mind, the beginning I was mind blown <laughs> we are at the beginning beginning of this new bamboo age there was one like a few yeah. thousand years ago um but most of the thing got lost because it's organic how it should be right so everything was uh went back to mother nature or to however and now we're yeah. it seems like at this new beginning where where um we're starting to open our eyes and 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 and, and mingle with bamboo and, yeah. and play around and uh exactly it's yeah super interesting <laughs> yeah it really it really came forward during the during the expo also the presentations like for example the the previous podcast with nicola I, what he's doing is so so amazing i said yeah. whoa yeah, <laughs> my, yeah, my world really got opened into the the bamboo yeah. uh, and challenging uh, too. Because bamboo. imagine the perception challenge of bamboo in Europe is the same in in Latin America. So people think, oh, this is yeah. I'd rather have metal or or wood beam than bamboo because bamboo is ah, not so good. So you have really to yeah. hack, educate, help them understand um, everywhere. It's it's this main challenge. Um, yeah, not and, only in Europe. And that's what I found out as well. I thought that in South America or mid, yeah. uh, in Central America, everyone, because it's growing there, everyone knows a bit like what's what's possible with it and what the properties are. But apparently, apparently not. There's a no. lot, a lot to still Actually, work on. Actually, yeah. Melvin, the knowledge got lost. The knowledge was here. Speaking of Latin oh. America, and it got mm -hmm. lost. Why did it got lo it get lost? Well, uh, that's probably another story, but there was yeah. people knew how to build with bamboo. There are many techniques, including bamboo, which uh, Nicolas also is like one of them is his uh, bamboo adobe panel system, which is kind of a recycled idea of, of, of like two, three hundred years back in time. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, of course, now it's more modular and adapted to our uh, like way of thinking. But um, mm -hmm. Is it was something which was included in 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 time and now probably I would say because of our uh, addiction to petrol and to uh, fast and easy materials like everything is plastic right <laughs> our plastic yeah, yeah, world yeah. based on petrol um, we we lost lots of knowledge in very short time and uh, it seems like we are the generation now who's uh, starting to to rebuild <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah build yeah, back yeah. better. <laughs> for yeah, real yeah, i'm so excited <laughs> to to help in this in this era you know it's yeah. uh it's so meaningful interesting it's it's and uh, yeah for example in the in the expo it really comes together and you really you also i also found out that the family is so small the, the group is so small of, of bamboo yeah. uh the people that are working with bamboo and it's so yeah, it's really at the beginning <laughs> yeah no what yeah. Heracles has been able to to Built with the European Bamboo Expo in Germany is really amazing. I mean, nobody did mm -hmm. it before him or achieved it, no. you know? Yeah. So that's that's one thing. You have to be able to pull that off and, 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 and make it happen. I mean, it costs money, time. Mm -hmm. You have to believe in yeah. into the reality that it's possible. And nobody did believe before. And no. uh, so uh, high five, Heracles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, props to you. <laughs> uh, really amazing. This brings together not just European, but the, uh, currently the, the whole world. And, and also it shows mm -hmm. that people are really interested into working together, into uh, talking together also. Um, we're in the modern world. Uh, we're talking right now on, on live uh, over uh, virtually, right? But of course, mm -hmm. it's a hundred times better if we're able to talk on a table, have a coffee yeah. together. Uh, exchange Definitely. ideas, challenges, because we're humans. We need like yeah. uh, to be uh, near to be able to um, interact better. And um, mm -hmm. this um, uh, European Bamboo Expo, I think, is is a great place to 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 start and a great uh, place um, to to uh, 
find uh, inspiration at the end also and and get visibility uh within this yeah. new uh reality exactly <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that's it yeah. And uh, I, I've, I, if I recall correctly, there were like uh, uh, many uh, key players of the uh, Dutch uh, bamboo community at the European Expo, right? Um, yeah, yeah. There, there were a lot of um, as well. Um, yeah, there were there were, there were companies all of, from all over the world, and also some Dutch companies. Uh, so like Bamboo Logic is. Uh, Partially Dutch, I believe. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and partially Belgian um, with a Um yeah. yeah. And also there was a, a company, Bamboo Village, where I talked. Uh, I talked to them. I didn't know them before, so I got to know some new bamboo uh, companies. And yeah, the, and um, yeah, we're thinking about collaborating as well. Um, so yeah, a lot of interesting conversation happened there. Um, yeah, not only with other Dutch uh, companies, but also with yeah companies around the whole world, like Guatemala and Chile and Argentina. It's so amazing that <laughs> that all those people are there together and yeah, yeah. And most of them are on, was the same challenge, trying to to get people on board with the bamboo, uh, trying to to get this regenerative material uh, used. Uh, we all there know it's possible. We just need to to get people on board to to motivate others to join, and uh, that's why also uh, I really truly believe Melvin that what you're doing education is super key to this. This will help a lot of people yeah. to better understand of of all the, the endless possibilities that yeah. are that exists with bamboo, we, we can't even uh, like probably talk about all of them because there are so many <laughs> and it yeah. will get way too long just to think about and brainstorm um, mm -hmm. about all this, this bamboo reality. So uh, uh, really very cool um, that you're doing this. Maybe, um, I don't know if you have a, a, a call to action regarding, do you have like a, a entry course or do you wanna, uh, do you have like any, uh, subscribe to newsletter to get like uh, um i don't know uh do you have, yeah, any... we, have we have a free ebook on our website you can download That's to... awesome yeah okay yeah. so with uh, also up. some theory some theory uh everything yeah uh, okay. mainly about the theory so um in a nutshell uh, about mm -hmm. the theory about bamboo and uh, more in depth uh, in the in the theory course the, okay. the separate course and so... then the main course is about the uh, theory and also what it can um, mean as building material bamboo and also learn build yourself with bamboo so you can make your own mm -hmm. piece of furniture uh, or even like structures like for example yeah so cool so cool so uh, anybody wanting into a uh, written introduction like a pdf probably um, um go on yeah. bamboo builds and uh, sign up and download yeah <laughs> yeah exactly it's free. Yeah. <laughs> Or follow follow us on on Instagram. We uh, we uh, we post a lot there. So uh, also of everything about bamboo. <laughs> so yeah, everything bamboo you do. Bamboo underscore builds on Instagram. Bamboo underscore builds. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Um, and um, basically, um, this is kind of important, I think, because that's it could be motivation for for people uh, uh, like visiting your website. Uh, that's great. You have this um, free uh, ebook. Uh, let's mm -hmm. call it like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's see how we can push uh, your your uh, bamboo uh, course uh, online and and get more people on board uh, who speak Dutch. Yeah. I know that the Dutch region have really lots of uh, very open minded people and uh, mm -hmm. also lots of people which are already now into the bamboo industry. So. Um, I think it's it's a it's a good idea about um uh delivering or having this this course now here um yeah yeah and we're we're also keep uh, adding more content to the to the course we have many ideas like put, uh, adding a module of just only about designing so you can mm -hmm. uh, to learn how to make stuff like this <laughs> mm. uh, for your projects and and also um some uh, projects that you can follow from A to Z. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, ideas uh, that we want to uh, do. We want to take people on our journey with us. Uh, in awesome. The world. Yeah. 
that's that's the way to do it. Uh, just a, yeah. a thought. Um, have you thought about working with the universities in in the Netherlands, probably? Or yeah, uh... yeah, we're we're thinking about that. Yeah, we want to um, uh, reach out to to the to schools in uh, yeah, universities in Netherlands, like for for example, the furniture uh, maker um, studies. Yeah, universities there. Yeah, yeah that, maybe that I can would... give like a, a guest lesson or yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they would. This is added value for the universities because they can, yeah. like, uh, they're able to give this knowledge which they don't have. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, and I want to reach as many people as possible. So, and um, at the universities, there are a lot of young people as well who are even more open uh, about working with sustainable materials and be there for the to make the climate change uh, to reduce the climate change. So, yeah. Just to 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 um, make a new generation that's uh, that's uh, that love bamboo just like us and uh, yeah I think it's a good opportunity to do it, to do it in that way yeah absolutely because in, in Germany I know the Rhine Main University who's really uh, working with uh, renewable architecture and lots of bamboo and adobe and and they have an entire generation of of new architects which are. Uh, now fit and really well um, educated on, on what's possible with bamboo and are bringing fresh new ideas, um, which at the end is about uh, building a uh, a cool and, and healthy future uh, for mm -hmm. uh, the next uh, next generations and next and next, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. <laughs> With bamboo, it's possible. <laughs> yeah. Mean, yeah. And it's also yeah. much more like flexible and modular. So I think it's bamboo per se is really uh, compatible with our way of, of thinking now uh, where we have to be adaptable, we have to be flexible. Bamboo is mm -hmm. super flexible. Um, yep. It's just we, we have to uh, get uh, people on board with bamboo. They have to learn about it. It has to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, and yeah. Also, I also believe that people need to see the structures as well, like on on city squares, or uh, for example, that maybe that's the the like also a good way to get people's attention uh, on what's possible with bamboo, and then maybe they want uh, to find out more what's possible. Yeah, that's the hack. We have to have like bamboo everywhere. So even the bamboo mm -hmm. skate park, which is gonna soon be uh, uh on live also the park is ready but oh. the shades are being worked on with uh, my uh before last podcast also uh and um, okay. it it should be everywhere so also um um a friend of mine is working on uh, bamboo plastic so basically oh. um yeah uh if this comes out well i mean this is really going to be mind blowing because we don't need yeah. any oil anymore we can use like real regenerative uh, wow. material and um things are are looking interesting then uh, and it's it's still going to take time but we're getting there <laughs> we're yeah, taking exactly. off <laughs> yeah yeah slowly but uh, i think we're Steady. we're raising the yeah, yeah. The, the how fast we're going yeah 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 so yeah if if you continue a building uh, like modules of the bamboo course in dutch i'm sure yeah. this will also help uh, raise the quality and mm -hmm. for sure also be more interesting uh, like for uh, academics existing organization who want to add value to uh, their uh, yeah. portfolio and directly work together with you guys um, to enhance that um, because uh, nobody is doing it yet so hey you're the pioneer no. here <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that feels weird as well but yeah we're doing it yeah yeah awesome melvin so um, I don't know, is there any uh, closing words you would like to um, add to uh, this uh, Think Bamboo podcast um, today here? I think so, yeah. So um, I just want to say that um, you just need to start building with bamboo. Uh, that's that's the main way how you can learn the fastest way and, and to learn it in a fun way. And yeah, just buy the material somewhere with an import uh, company here in the Netherlands uh, where you can buy the, uh, the bamboo and just build stuff. Um, yeah. And then you will find out um, how, how amazing the material is, um, how it works, uh, how it's different from wood, uh, how strong it is. Um, I think that's the, the main. If you want to um, learn everything about bamboo, just build with it.
And sign up on bamboobuilds.nl. And sign up if you want to learn more. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. No, I like it. I really like it. Um, I think it's it's key. Education is always key, and I think you have a good vibe there. So I'm sure the the course is interesting, not boring. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no, not boring. <laughs> not boring. <laughs> so it's um, very fun. <laughs> And that's about it. Bamboo has to be fun. It's engaging. It's dynamic. It's yeah. flexible. Yeah. <laughs> it's everything. Everything it's, positive. <laughs> exa- it is actually, and it's it's yeah. whatever you want to uh, transform it to uh, at the end of the day. So um, so many endless opportunities here, um, and mm-hmm. we're in times where we need uh, positive transformation. So uh, let's yeah. get it. <laughs> yes. Give bamboo a chance. <laughs> Give bamboo a chance. Learn about yeah. it. Melvin, exactly. thanks a lot for your time here. Really yeah, appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it as well. And um, let's keep in contact, see how we can we can push yeah. uh, your um, course here, or talk uh, afterwards a little bit more. Definitely. <laughs> Take care, Looking man. Looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.